Silver State 300 prep. Talking to our guy Simon right now at Can-Am. Can't appreciate them enough, and uh, let's go check out the race car. Full teardown after Laughlin ended third place, second in points now. Uh, Cole did a full teardown on the car, went through all of it, checked out the chassis, made sure we have no issues there, and uh, he's putting the power plant back in right now. Added a few more bars on our rear upper shock mount. Go go down. Oh. oh wow. That is nice. You like that dog? I don't think they make it much yeah. better than that, baby. That is in there. I can love baby. like swimwear. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> so at our last race, it was either way too much Loctite or something, but we bent one of these bad boys for the radius rod plates back here. So we ordered up the CT Raceworks kit, and if you pan around in the back here, you can see they bolt in with a two quarter 20s on each side, and then this bung they have is actually like a locking nut. So now, if we were to ever have an axle failure, we could just zip out this one, or one, two, three bolts on one side, and kick out the whole trailing arm and radius rods, and then pop a whole new axle in there versus having to pull the whole radius rod plate assembly off whenever you have the studs poking out this way. And then these bolts are also, they're the same grade, but they're shanked properly, which is really important. So the shanks riding on the shaft are the inside of the, the hind. So that was one of the upgrades we did. And then you can see over here too, S3 Power Sports makes a, a motor mount tranny welding gusset kit and there's actually replaces the whole stock bracket so we would have had to cut it off and we ended up just whacking the tab and then welding this whole gusset in here to just beef up this area and then if you look up in there we did the same thing with these tranny gussets in here we uh, just MIG blasted them a lot of paint we couldn't really get out so that's what we did last weekend, and then we added these up here too. So we haven't found any cracks or nothing, uh, like a lot of guys are. We have a plate down here that we welded all the way around the bottom. So we made this a few cars ago. There's a plate that welded all the way to the bottom, and then it grabbed our whole motor mount tube. So if we're ever like bottoming out really hard, it should beef up that whole area, but. Everything on the car looked pretty good. We also pulled this whole water pump gear assembly off. And you have an impeller in here. So we inspected that to see if it got hot or anything like that and to make sure that this housing is all okay. We were flashing overheat the whole race. And we think it's a wiring issue, but we just wanted to make sure there was no plastic in the motor. Whenever they get hot, those plastic gears can crack and you'll find it in the oil filter. But other than that, we painted this bad boy, kind of sucks, I, I like the raw look, and then we got a new number plate, and it's recessed in here a little bit, and we're going to end up adding maybe a tube on each side, I know it's painted, and you're like, why would you paint it if you're going to weld it, but we wanted to get all the spots where when the bed's on, we won't be able to paint it without painting the whole bed. So we'll probably just take a little bit of paint off of here somewhere and maybe land a tube in here or in here so it doesn't interfere with the strap. Because the way we did this, with the time we had and the parts we had, this just bolts to the bed. So this is more of a bed support to keep the bed from floating around. And you can see it's got a little bit of flex. And we just don't want this tube to have any issues. We know it's really solid down here. It's all sleeved in. And that's about all we're going to add for the fab stuff. And then, if you want to keep going, we ended up ripping out all of our wiring. Uh, we had some communication issues. The antenna wire had a little kink in it, and that was a big no-no, so we couldn't really hear the pits or anything. Um, we got all the stuff we ripped out over here. The car wasn't wired by us when we bought it, so they had a big fuse panel. And the way we like to do things with 
relays and circuit breakers. So we're gonna end up putting all the switches right here on top and ditch all the ones in the center. So that way, if Connor's ever driving the car out by himself or at the dunes and stuff, he can still reach all the switches, but then the co-driver has better access instead of trying to get back in here and not being able to see what they're doing. And then we're also gonna move our GPS a lot closer, maybe make it come in and out on like a, a shock or an actuator. We're not positive yet. And then seats. Figure out our seats, get a racing seat in there. And then just a full prep on the car. Um, our diff and our carrier bearing. I guess you can't really see, you can see it in here a little bit, but the car's got like 2,000 miles and the diff and the carrier bearing and whole drive shaft assembly is still just like a million dollars. So that's one of the pros of a Can-Am, I guess. Polaris is, good luck. I guess that's my rant, I don't know. So that's all we're gonna be doing to the car for now and we'll see you at Silver State. Staging. 145 second position. Pretty good position. We uh, got the car ready to go. Final touches from Trey right now and uh, get through tech and contingency and be ready to, uh, to drop the hammer tomorrow. We got a, a fast one in front of us and we got a fast one behind us. So hammer down.
on, Colin. Tom, what up, dude? Silver State 300. Getting ready. Go down to staging. Round, uh, round three. We're second in points. Updated the car with a few new goodies. And uh, good race, fast track. Uh, keep the car together like normal. And uh, listen to Cole, call outs. Keep it on four wheels. The car's prepped good. Got some new parts on it. Uh, shout out to the boys at Can Am for the new front diff. We've got uh, all new wheels on it from Method, brand new MRT tires. Cole built us a new exhaust system on this. Muffler from the Evo Evolution Power Sports guys. And then uh, Can Am hooked us up with the rear race knuckles as well. We feel prepped, we feel ready. We had an extra day in between tech and the racing now, so it's a little bit of an uneasy feeling because you feel like you got an extra day, you're not fully prepared, but uh, I got a great group of guys around me. We're ready to put this thing up on the podium again. Oh. Are we live? What do you got for the race? We're too prepared this race, we feel like, and uh, kind of a weird feeling, but the car's been all rewired. We got a new exhaust. A few more prep tricks we've come across and a bunch of added gussets so everything's working really well and we do our best to put it on the box again. So we're out here the 2022 Best in the Desert Silver State 300. We're out here in the middle of nowhere, middle of the desert. I got my amazing co-driver Brooke out here. She's gonna do an amazing job today but we're ready to put EVO 1 and EVO 2 on the box here today. What about you, Todd? What's the plan for Jacob? Jacob's got his own plan, but his plan is to uh, finish first, and then finish first. <laughs> the intercooler one. Howdy, partner. Crew chief. Crew chief. Got to say. Boys are ready. These boys are ready. Cars prepped. Prepped a couple days early. We we're kind of. Confused about what to do while we were here, not working on the car, but I think we're pretty dialed. Race day. So out here in BFE, don't know which way is north, which way is south, but we're here to race. And they can't be bitching at me if there ain't no gas in it, that's for sure. <laughs> and, uh, what up, brother? What do you got to say to these young bucks? Um, super proud. Really, really super proud of these kids and what they've done and uh, for never doing this for the first time, the car they put together, how they run, they take care of it, man. They're, they're really um, double check, triple check the car all the time. Uh, their heart's in it. Um, just can't say enough. They're, they're badasses. Wish them the best. Let's go, boys.
extreme. That radiator issue in the beginning fucked us. I think we still ended up like fifth. No fucking way, bro. Oh yeah, bro. We would have had second if it wasn't for that radiator issue. It. Excuse my language. Beep. Fucked us. Damn it! Started off good. I don't know what our cooling is issue is. Made it to mile four, and uh, Aim said we were at 200. Oh. There comes the helmet. 247 degrees on the Aim. 247 degrees. We're like, fuck, pull over, let it sit, it cools back down, we get back in it, we hit like 40 miles an hour, straight down. We're like, god damn it. So, pull into pit one. They see if we got like a something stick or something that would could have got in there, we're not too sure. Check the coolant level, all that's good. Take off again, we can't get over like 30, 40 miles an hour, it's throwing us in the limp mode. We're running 230 max. Uh, it's like 30 miles an hour and then uh, pull in the pit two. We rip off the front hood, we rip off all the front lights, and we rip off the, the front grill. And from there on, we were like 200 degrees to 178 degrees and probably drove this thing the hardest I could drive it. And as you see, we got a trophy truck in front of us, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't even know. 300 miles? I think my eyeballs like shot. Both of them. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Good race. <laughs> How we doing, boys? Good. Woo. How was it? Oh, fuck. Long day. Yeah? Yeah, we got beat up out there. Car held together, though. Good. Good. So, like, the first, like, 5, 10 miles of the course are like wide open like 80 mile an hour sections like super silty like super sandy and just heating everything up it was it was probably like 85 90 degrees out and uh we tested the fuck out of the car but we we ended up overheating we got the aim and we were watching the temp the whole time and we're getting up to 240 and going through all the silt beds we went into limp mode so we limped to the first pit and looked it over and we came up with the idea of cutting all the lights off i don't know if you want to try to show them but we ended up cutting all of our bumper lights off, all the grill, pulled the hood off, and everything. And then the car, after that, never got over 215, I would say. So Connor drove the living piss out of it, like 85 in many sections, just as hard as we could, you know, like really dialing in our calls, L1s, R2s, like just super focused. Uh, we got a flat down in a wash and ended up changing that. I think we got it done in like three or four minutes. I, I want to say like that went really well and just push the car like the track was extreme compared to Parker and Laughlin like the wide open sections the the rocky areas like there were so many boulders like we saw a fucking a boulder you know game big in the middle of the road like if you were in the dust you know we probably passed 25 30 broken cars like the course was just extreme but if we got a top five I'd be stoked man long long section killed it did you see us go Instagram live we did? We went Instagram live yeah, on my dude. on my Instagram. Dude, running 85 miles an hour yeah. through this freaking silk. Dude, we just ran it's like... I, we I ran a rolling shot of you guys when you guys were crossing the highway. Or, uh... We seen you over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, dude, in the dust right here, Connor's doing 75. Like, we couldn't even see. I like, even we see were just, bumper. like, relying on the Damn. GPS. We almost ran into your left, cousins. Rear right. Really? That's when yeah. we checked on this trophy truck. I'm like, there's no way we're catching the trophy truck. I know, man. We could have... Man, if we had, like, another fucking 20 miles, I want to say we, we should have uh, passed bleep it. bleeped them and bleeped them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, nah, I'm stoked we finished, man. Like, the first half, we were about ready the to... The car is dialed. We just had those... Freaking minor issues in the beginning oh. that killed us, bro. Literally killed us. Oh yeah. Finished killed us. Shit. Killed us. What's up, bud? Suck, motherfucker. You right. got the fucking right. goddamn win. It's hey. alright. Yeah, come here, fuck. Get the fucking right. finishing position. Learn your lesson.